Hello everyone and welcome to another Click Central video. Um, today we're going to do a little quick video talking about um, showing objects, conditional shows, and also a little bit about layering. Um, it's just following the series of flat design um, that I've created um, around this design layout. And in this design layout there are a number of objects that make things appear and uh, sort of disappear. And this is all done by layering and conditionally showing objects and so on. So just to talk you through how this works is um, to show an object you have um, a, a property within all the objects within ClickView um, and that is under the layouts menu and the, the show is either always or conditional. Now the conditional um, as long as it's true then uh, the, the property the, uh, the object will show so that's a true statement and obviously we can see that is, is showing there. So if we just move it to one side and we change this to a false statement you'll see the object, show object yes, will just disappear. And there it goes. So that's how you do that. Um, turn it off completely actually. Um, so what I've done is I've set up a, a variable called show object and at the moment its default is zero. So what I've done is I've set some actions up to these objects. You can see that by the how the, the mouse changes to a hand as I hover over the objects. Now actions can be set to text objects, it can be set to to images um, like, like, like these here and it can also be um, applied to gauge charts. So we just look at the action on the properties, it's on the actions menu and um, we've got an action there, a set variable. The variable is the V show object, which is one here. And here we switch it to one. So this will switch uh, the conditional to true. And likewise, this one is exactly the same, but instead of switching it to zero. So if we show that now, and now the object's appeared, and the object's disappeared. So if we just make it appear, and we'll look at the properties here. So we've got a conditional statement show object equals one. So because show object is the value is one, it's now appeared. And obviously if we would change that the, the, the value would be zero, it'd disappear. So if I select no, it'll disappear. You can also do a top toggle object um, sort of button. I've not actually set the properties of that now, so we'll do that um, here. Um, so just to show you how to set the action. It's got no actions in there at all. So we'll add an action. Um, we've got different actions you can make, but we're focusing on external, which is to set a variable. Now, if you know the name, you can just type it in, but if you don't know the name, it's a handy little trick is to, well, that, is to look at the variables here, and that'll give you all the variables within the, uh, within the dashboard. So we can, if we don't know it exactly, we can guess um, from, the, from the list here of which one it will be. Uh, which is quite handy actually because normally on the expression editor you can type things in and like field names or functions and it will sort of guess what you're trying to write but in the variables it won't but that's sort of a handy hint uh, to use this menu to find a variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to logical not statement so if it is 1 we're going to make it 0, if it is 0 we're going to make it 1. So that's straightforward conditional statement so if show object equals 1, then we're going to make it equal 0, if else we're going to make it 1. So if it's 1, it's 0, if it's 0, then it's 1. So that's, that'll toggle between the two settings and it's not, uh, I think we need an equal sign in there as well, just to make it a proper um, expression. Okay, so we'll see if that works. So now we've got a, a hover over hand icon. So yep, yeah, and then we're toggling between 1 and 0, and it's the same button for both. So that's very simply how the uh, the show objects sort of works, and that can be used a lot through dashboards to create sort of different effects where things sort of appear and disappear at will. Okay. Now one thing you've noticed is is this would appear, and straight away it's it's over all these other objects. And even if I select another object, it stays above. And that's what's done by layering. So all the objects within this this area here are all set to a higher layer. I'll show you the properties. Within the layout menu, you get an option to do layer. Now you've got bottom, middle, or top, and you also got a custom menu, um, custom layer, sorry, and that can go from negative one to eight 
to positive 127 so you've actually got 256 possible layers and that you can use you can think of layers very much like animation uh, when they use the, the sort of cellophane and they sort of build up and um, if you've ever seen that on the white box and they sort of build up the different layers of the background and the foreground and so on and so forth uh, and that's very similar to what's happening here I can show you this in the um, in these these objects down here now these are actually all on the same layer they're all on custom layer number 10 etc um, etc et now what you will have noticed then is that I've activated it, the boxes they automatically just pop to the top of their selected layer which is not what you want to happen so when we have these open here so for example do this one I don't want to be able to hit this text box and activate it and have it appearing over her. and that's what the layers do so on in this instance here it's the same objects but all I've done now is left that at 10 move that to 11 so it's one higher and then move that to 12 so it's a, a one further higher so this way they will stay as you intended to them and uh, you know cover each other up as, as you actually want them to do rather than being a little bit random um, depending on how the user selects the objects so there we go very quick video around um, around layering around conditionally showing objects and using actions to, to do that so um, that's that's the video I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you learned something um, if you want to see more um, www.clickcentral.com information's there um, or subscribe to the YouTube channel at Click Central um, love to hear your comments and thank you very much